What's up guys, Dollmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Adam Calhoun video. Although this one, uh, a little bit more serious. I think every video we've watched from him has been some sort of comedy video in one way or another. Uh, this one obviously not, so this is They Just Shot Trump. Uh, so again, I think I, I got recommended, I bet you, 20 videos on this situation from like different uh, news stations and content creators and all this, that, and the other thing, some memes, everything. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of these for the next couple days while we go through these, but anyway... Link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Guys, they just shot Trump. This is not a joke. This is not a funny video. They just shot Trump. Watch this. You ever been to the hood in Chicago? That's what it sounds like in the summertime. But this is beautiful. <laughs> Watch what happens after this video. Watch this. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Put all politics to the side. This man just got shot at. There's craziness going around him. And in all of that, he's calm and says, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. And starts putting his hand up. Fight, fight. He's got blood leaking from his ears. Fight, fight. I'm not sorry. That's the guy that I'm voting for. I'm voting for the guy with all the felonies, the RICO Act, and that guy that just got shot in the face. And still <laughs> standing there like a gangster. And guess what? He just got all the votes. Thank you. And thank you. And that was someone from the left that clearly shot him because they missed. You know, we, we don't, I don't have to break that down. The left guns, you get it. You just <laughs> a legend. Uh, what I'm... Well, <laughs> What I found so funny is on X, you had all these lefties, and half, I, I talked about this in one of the other videos earlier today, but half of them are like dead serious, right? Half of them, you know, they're just being dishonest. They're doing that whole tactic where they pretend to be retarded and not know what's going on and think it's owning you somehow. Dumbest, like, it, it drives me nuts. It, somehow it works. It's, it's, the, 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 people are just so dishonest and they want to believe what they want to believe that pretending to be retarded is actually like a, a viable debate strategy, but... So the guy registered as a Republican, the guy that shot Trump, but he registered as a Republican specifically to, sh to, to vote against Trump in the primaries. He was never a Republican before that. He donated to the Democrats before and after that. And people online are still pretending that, oh, no, he's a Republican. He was registered as a Republican. It's like, yeah, so he could vote against Trump. He wasn't actually a Republican. He was trying to sabotage the primaries. But anyway. He was already a legend. Now it's like... He's a legend in the hood now. He got, I'm, I'm not even sorry. He just got all the black votes. He just got every black vote. I'm not sorry for nothing that I'm saying, and I don't care how you take it. That's got to be the next president. How is it not? You and you, you from the left will do anything to try to make sure that he is not the next president, including, and he still stands tall and says, bring it, bring it. Only in America, baby. I am so glad that these last four years of all these little, you know what it is? The last four years have been all the kids that were like dorks and just nerds and didn't, nobody messed with, like nobody liked them in high school. Those are who's running the country now. Yeah. Bye. Now the I've actually talked about this before. I, I think one of the things I find fascinating about both politics and culture over the past like 10 years is this uh it, it's like this combination that like there, there's a bit of projection with it too right because you see this the way they talk about like the the stereotype like the high school jock he never achieved anything um uh you know he all oh, he never shuts up about like <clears throat> how glorious he was back in high school and all this stuff and it's coming from these guys that can't get over the fact that they weren't cool in high school and the jock banged the girl they were into right because you know, maybe it's it's. I only went to one high school, so a small sample. You know, s small sample size. S you know, might be a, a sample bias issue. But most of the most successful people I knew in high school were the jocks, right? A lot of them went on to own their own businesses. They, um, you know, you know, they they got good paying jobs. Some of them worked for the town or you know whatever. Uh, and and the, the people that weren't were you know generally the non athletic types. Uh, but they still have this like resentful thing towards people who, you know, were partying in high school and were popular and were hanging out with girls. And it's, I feel like so much like he like he nailed nailed hit the nail on the head here. Where so much of society now is like this resentment for um, 
not being popular in high school and then projecting it onto other people of like, oh, you never got over high school. It's like, bro, your entire life, your entire political philosophy, all the culture you produce is literally about you not being over, not being cool in high school. Everyone else has moved on. These people have wives and kids and, you know, they're taking their fucking kid to soccer practice or hockey practice or basketball, whatever the big sport is where you live. And you're fucking sitting here making movies about, you know, how they're a fucking bum. Like, who, who's over it and who's not over it, man? Like, come on. But, yeah. The real men and real women in this country get to run this country. And now you're going <laughs> to... Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... Bad. There's a 4chan meme called The Day of the Locker. If you haven't seen it, it, it's basically talking about throwing nerds back in lockers. And it's it's so true. That needs to happen. We need the Day of the Locker. But <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.